Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would mean a lot to me. Um, and then also make sure to follow my two Instagrams, my beauty one, which is Modified Makeup by Mad, my personal one, which is Madeline McBride underscore, and also make sure to check out my merch. Uh, it's in the description below. Um, if you want to give it a little look, I think it's super cute. So I am making a video about taping because you're like, you know why, Maddie? Why would you want to make a video about taping? And let me tell you, I had such a hard time with taping. It was honestly the bane of my freaking existence. Um, I could not figure it out. I was using PTFE tape and I also have these nails, which makes everything a lot harder. So I figured now that I know what the heck I'm doing, I would be the best person to teach other people how to tape your ears if you're new to it. Um, I tried looking up like ear taping videos, um, and there's a lot of people describing it, but not a lot of people doing it on camera. So I was like, okay, I'll do it on camera. Uh, so the first things you're gonna need when taping your ears is one, tape. I use bondage tape. Um, please don't read the reviews whenever you buy bondage tape because I did and they aren't using it for ear stretching. Um, this was 20 bucks for two rules on Amazon. Yeah, I couldn't get PTFE tape to work. Bondage tape is a lot more durable and it holds its shape, which we'll get to in a little bit why that's important. Um, and don't use any tape with adhesive on it, please. Oh my gosh. I had someone tell me they use electrical tape and I was panicking, but just don't do electrical tape. Thank you. Um, and then next you're going to need Need just antibacterial soap. Um, it's not like you, you just want to make sure it's all clean, um, especially the plugs when you first tape. You don't want them to be greasy or have any gunk on them because then the tape won't stick. You know, oh, you're gonna need a lot of oil, whatever you use for stretching. Um, I use jojoba oil, I really recommend it, but whatever you, balm you use for stretching, I prefer an oil. Um, for me, I am stretching, stretching, well, I guess so. I am taping with single flared plugs. I have glass plugs. So my next size I'm supposed to be going to is 18 millimeters. I'm at five eighths of an inch. Um, I could buy an in-between size, but now that I know how to tape, instead of spending money on the 17 millimeters, I just am going to tape. Um, I already do have in-between sizes. Surprisingly, the 18 millimeter is the in-between size from 5 eighths of an inch to 3 fourths of an inch. And I think three millimeters is a lot. So um, I already narrowed it down to two millimeters, but this is going to help me get through a two millimeter jump. I typically don't have to tape if I'm doing a one millimeter jump. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my hair up because um, we don't want to get all kinds of um, stuff on it and it's just going to be easier. We want our work area to be all cleared up. I have these little flowers on my nails. I just got my nails done and they keep getting caught in my hair and it's kind of pissing me off. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to start with this plug. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so I get this plug out and we're just going to get like a teeny bit of soap on it. I usually would get water too but I'm not around a sink so I'm sure it's fine. And we're just going to make sure all the gunk and oil is off. For my case it's oil because I just massaged my ears a little bit ago. So uh, we want to not have that on there. And you also want to start off with clean plugs. You don't want to like be throwing in something that's a little gross. Okay so I'm going to show you my technique for putting the tape on. And this is also helpful for girls who want to stretch their ears or guys who have long ass nails because that was my biggest problem was like my nails were just causing me world problems. Oh, you're also gonna need scissors. I think my scissors are with my knitting stuff right over here. That's right, your bitch knits, bro. My knitting bag. Oh my god, let's unbox it. Found them. So we got my scissors. So I cut a strip of tape. I don't know how long this is. Should I measure it? I'll, I'll cut it and then I'll measure it. So I'd say, how thick do you think this is? Here, like I have my little penguin tape measure dude covered in hair. Okay, so this is roughly about half an inch. You're gonna take your plug and you see how there's a little lip there? Line up that tape with the little lip like that. And then just, <laughs> are you seeing this? And then just, wrap it around. So after you wrap your first layer of tape, you're gonna wanna take some oil and layer your ear up with that oil, bro. You're gonna wanna get a lot of oil on there because you don't want that tape to like, you know, nick your skin or like, it wouldn't nick it, but you know what I mean? Like you don't want your skin to get all stuck up on it. And then slide it 
right in. So my issue that I had with taping was when I used PTFE tape, bro, it like accordioned, like whenever I tried putting it in, it just like kept doing that and like kept like scrunching up and I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna lose it if it keeps doing that. So um, I looked it up and everybody said, oh, PTFE tape's a lot more thinner and it's prone to doing that. Um, so we're gonna do it to my other ear and I can go over things once more. So we're gonna clean off the plug. So how often I tape, I would say I do it every day or two. I don't know, like you can just kind of like feel like if you're going to clean your plugs, this is a good example, and you go to take out your plug and you can just feel the tape like really like, it's still like pretty tight in your ear, I would wait. But if your plug comes out super easily, tape. But you know, sometimes when you take your plug out, like your <laughs> your ear skin is like really tight around it, um, that would not be a good time to do it for sure. You're gonna wanna wait until it like just like comes out easily, like no resistance, no pulling around it. So again, we're gonna cut about half an inch of tape. I wish I could show you all this. Yeah, I guess I can. I'm just gonna let the tape drop about that much. Little strip of tape. Take your plug. Line it up with the lip. And the tape should just stick there. If your plug's clean, it shouldn't like fall off. Because again, your tape should have absolutely no adhesive on it. Just kind of, if you have nails like me, you're gonna hold it the plug like this and then flip off your viewers and then just like slowly wrap that bitch. After you do that, once more, take the oil and put a lot of it on your ear and throw that plug in. I typically will like put in my new set of glass plugs, let my ears dead stretch for a couple of weeks, like two or three weeks. And then if I can't get my neck size up in, I'll just start taping after two or three weeks. And then I just add, I'd say like every five layers of tape, try doing the next size up and see if it'll work. That's it. Um, I just want to help you guys because you know what? I wanted to be yes senseis, okay? Because I had such a hard time figuring it out and I felt like no one could help me. Nobody was giving me like what they thought was the best advice. So like, just get any tape. And I'm like, oh, it'll work out. It'll be fun. And then you'll have some big floppy ears in the end. It'll be super great. Anyways, I'm going to go um, probably get sheets, get some jalapeno poppers some mac and cheese bites. Y'all let me know down below what you get from sheets or you don't have to. But if you want to, that'd be sick. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week with another video. You guys are amazing. I'm so, I almost, <laughs> I almost said I'm so proud of you. You know, I am proud of you. Whatever you got going on, I'm proud of you. But I'm also so happy to have you guys. Bye guys.